and uh, welcome to the kitchen. This is my off-grid kitchen. I've got my um, camping stove. It's just a normal camping stove. The only major difference is that there's a whopping great 19 kilo propane cylinder, which means it'll run for about six months on my usage. That's only the, in fact, that's only the second propane cylinder I've bought in about 18 months. Probably more than 18 months now. Um, and uh, yeah, so. 30 pounds or 50 dollars worth of gas has generally lasts me half a year so my yearly gas bill is probably in the region of a hundred dollars or about 60 70 pounds which is very cool my uh, water supply just a 25 liter um, container with a tap on the end these things last forever they're very cheap you can just about carry 25 liters of water I don't have water plumbed in where I am and you've got food storage basically anything can sit around on shelves as long as it's in a jar or a can or a tin or otherwise you know a plastic tub basically so that no critters can get into your food and uh, if any uh, if you look down under here anything that could be got in by critters is in a box with a wooden lid on the top there you have it. The electricity comes from my um, mains connection in the TP over there on a big drum reel cable, like worktops and stuff. Um, I do nominally have a washing machine, although I'm currently debating whether to get rid of it because it doesn't quite work at the moment. And I got given a freezer a while back, which uses very little electricity, and currently got on loan a very heavy duty radio that sits out here so I can listen to the radio while I'm cooking and all the electricity comes out of these four points there's quite a lot of junk in here because it seems to be the storeroom but yeah, so we've got water, cooking and food storage in here and, you know, somewhere to sit when it's raining and uh, a desk to work at what well, a table that I saw down and if you can even see that for a dining table that fits these folding camp chairs which we have loads of so there you go just a quick tour around my kitchen and I can cook pretty much anything as long as it doesn't need to be baked we got it going on in here <laughs>